Hey, how's it going? I am the Sanguium, and welcome back to Titan Souls. So last episode, we beat the game. It's done. One and done. Four episodes. That's all it took. But what can I say? You know, just bosses and all that. They're just too easy, you know? One hit, that's all? Oh, mm. wow. Just, yeah, too easy. It only took me two hours, 53 minutes. That's, that's not that much. But... There's now a hard mode called The Real Challenge, and we're going to be doing some of that today. I don't know if I'm going to be doing the whole thing. I don't know. Like, we're just going to give it a try and see how it works. And we're going to do translated text, too, so we can see the actual names of the bosses. As for the iron mode and no rolls, I'm good. You know, I, I think I'm good with just hard mode. Alright, so, you guys know the drill. Open the door. We can roll. We can run. We shoot the eye. But now, the first boss. You know him. Alright, so let's see just what makes this so much harder, huh? Oh! There's three of them. Okay, I could definitely see that as being harder. No! Okay. I gotta be careful. They're closing in. Whoa! I killed it! I got it with the back arrow! Hold it back! Oh, wow! Not bad. Not bad at all. Zero deaths. Look at that. Alright. Now, I'm afraid that this is where the zero deaths are going to end up stopping. Because, uh, I don't see myself beating the block so easily. Besides, how could they make this one harder? It rolls six times now instead of four. That's how it's harder. Oh, it rolled forward. Yeah! <laughs> the game had to think about it. It's like, wait. Did it swish you? Let me check. Let me run some checks. Ow! Oh my god, I thought I was in front of it. Okay, okay. All right. I have a plan, but it involves surviving. That was my chance to. I felt like I was on a chessboard and like the queen was, you know, blocking me off. Cause geez, there was not a lot of places I could go. <laughs> and here I thought I dodged him. <laughs> I hit, I wanted to run away, so I hit the dodge button, and I, 
I just dove right on him. Ah! I... Why did I dodge instead of... That was my perfect chance! That was my chance! And I blew it. Ah, ah that's irritating. It's hard to dodge when there's a beam of disintegration heading your way. Oh wow, it just barely... Alright, go up. Ah! I missed! I should have spent that time running, I guess, instead of calling my arrow. You know what this game would, would uh, you know what, I'm, gonna, I'm actually gonna check, oh, it doesn't actually pause. There's a timer, but, ooh, seven minutes, okay. But there's no death counter. A death counter would be great for this game. Oh, lord. Got it! Alright, whew! So now, let's move on to the brain. I hope you all have been paying attention to the names, now that they are legible. That last one was just called the IQ. What's this one? Brain cube? Brain freeze. Oh, ha ha ha. It's brain freeze. Wow. Wow, we... By the way, I think this guy is faster. Ow. Yeah, it seems faster. I'm pretty sure before it took some time for it to charge again. Not a problem. What? Alright, that might be a problem. Nope. Ah, that was my chance! Whoa. Alright, I think I need to get it to ricochet into a button. Because I think I'm having trouble. Let's see. I hit the dodge button! And I dodged right when I pulled my arrow! Oh no! That was gonna be my shot! Uh, it's because I hit the back trigger button, which is also a dodge button. And I, I hit it by accident. Whoa. Oh, hey, my arrow lit. Hey, now that's not a bad idea. What if I just dodge it? into a thing with a button and no that, that sounds complicated let's not do that gotcha whoa There's something about a brain just jumping on you. It really makes you think. Hold up, is it possible to take a detour? Cool detour! What did that do for me? Nothing. Yoink! Oh, maybe? 
Here! Oh, I thought maybe I could... Gotcha! Whew! Alright, three down, look at that. I think it took longer to take down three bosses this time than it did last time. I'm pretty sure the brain definitely killed me more times than last. But now it's time for the easy one! It only killed me the first time because I didn't know what to expect. This time, though... <laughs> All my talk was s suddenly... suddenly became invalid. hey ya All right. Goliath, let's... What the fuck? Oh my god, it tracks. It tracks while you dodge. That's why it hit me the first time. Oh. Oh, how do I dodge it then? Do I have to dodge it last second? Or is there a way to defeat it? What the fuck? It, it tracks. How the hell am I supposed to... It seems like it might be a distance thing. Like a distance thing. Maybe I have to be so far away from it that it can't hit me. Okay. Maybe it is a distance thing. Did you see how it moved the second time? Oh, maybe it predicts where you're going. Oh, maybe, maybe that's it. Maybe if I try to, do I try to trick it to think I'm going one way when I'm actually going another? Oh, I... The hand hammered down twice, so I assumed the first one did, so I assumed the third one would switch after the second pound, but it did not. It did not. How surprising it did not. Let me do it after the first one, then. If I hide over here... I missed. But then again, it's because I was trying to make sure I didn't hit the... the... the fist. I've... I... Oh! Alright, let's see if I can do this. Oh, come on! Dang, though. Okay, okay, I, I, I think I know what, I, what to, I'm doing here. I think it would be best to simply... Go oh! What am I doing wrong? Did, like, the... Can it not be at an angle? Is that the thing? Do I have to be in front of it when I shoot it? If so, I could arrange that. Let me give it a try. So I'm always trying to be on the far left, because I'm assuming, you know, it's safer over here. Oh. What? I, I think I'm starting to dodge better, though. Did you see that? They got kind of far. What triggers the hand switch? I can't figure it out. Is it simply being on the other side of the of the creature? Is it distance away? Is it the side of the arena? Like what's? 
What's the trigger? I can't figure it out. It must be reach. I think it's reach. Okay, I think if as long as the fist that's attacking can reach you, it won't switch. So I have to get out of range. Okay, I think I get it. Ugh. I really can't shoot at it sideways, can I? It's gotta be head on. But how do I get it to shoot head on when the only way to swap the hands is from from the side? Ugh, it's so annoying. Okay, I think I figured it out. Oh, but the fist. Okay, so there is a range that the fists can go. Got it. Okay. Woo! That was a tough one. That one took me a while to figure out. Turns out it was far simpler than I uh, thought it was. The fists can only go so far on each side. Up we go. Well, is this layout different? No, no, it's the same. It's the same. I wonder what's so special about the bow and arrow, anyway. Other than the fact that arrows don't typically get returned to their uh, shooters. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna leave this episode here. I've decided. I think I'm not going to do a playthrough on hard mode. It just... I've already beaten the bosses. So it seems more... I don't know. Like... I th already thought they were pretty hard to begin with. Like... It was, it was challenging. It was like my level of challenging. Like, I enjoyed overcoming the challenge that, that was fighting these bosses but now they're so hard that fighting them, fighting them and dying almost at the beginning of every round it feels more tedious to me than fun and I do kind of want to keep going to see how far I can get but I also don't want to make the game go from fun to tedious for me so that's why I think I'm gonna stop here and if I ever want to play again like I'm just gonna do it normally <laughs> in my spare time. But if any of you are interested in trying out hard mode to see if maybe there's like another secret cutscene or some special reward for clearing hard mode, hey, go get the game. Go buy the game. It's a great game. It's not even that expensive. And it has a pretty good soundtrack too. You can buy it with the soundtrack on Steam. Highly recommend it. And maybe even give Death's Door a try if you haven't tried that one yet. Because both games are pretty great. I can't wait to see what Acid Nerve does next, because if these are just their first two games, I'm very excited to see what they make for a third one. So thank you very much for watching. If you like what you saw, consider subscribing, and remember, The Wasteland is watching. See ya.